Welcome to the Penrith Solar Centre Solar Academy. Today we are going to be talking about solar systems and how to figure out the right size solar system for your home. In this video we're going to cover your energy consumption patterns and how to understand them. We're going to determine your future energy needs, we're going to work out how to exactly size the perfect solar system for your home and what solar design would actually suit your needs best. And what are peak sun hours? Everyone talks about them, you're supposed to understand them, but we'll dive deep into that. Let's get started. Number one, energy consumption patterns. In order to size a system to maximize your return on investment and future-proof your home for decades to come, we first need to understand your energy consumption patterns. But what exactly are your energy consumption patterns? Well, it's as simple as how much electricity you and your family use over how much time and when exactly you use it. For example, in a 24 hour period, you might know that your pool runs between 10 to two o'clock. You might know that dinner's between five and seven, and we just really wanna understand how you use energy inside of your home. This is critical to determine how much solar and battery storage that you're going to need on your home. When you're thinking about energy consumption patterns, don't just think about today as well. If you're a family that sees themselves driving electric vehicles in the future, that's definitely something to keep in mind when discussing your energy consumption patterns. Now, we are going to determine your energy needs, which of course flows on from identifying your consumption pattern. I want you to think about your daily routine. Perhaps you're a shift worker. Are you home during the day or mostly in the evenings? Your occupation and family habits are going to play quite a big part in this next step as we size the perfect solar system for your home. We wanna know what appliances do you use most and when do you use them? Is it just the pool or do you have a pool and a heat pump? Do you have a spa? How often do we use the kettle? All those things come into consideration when we are sizing the perfect system for your home. Be as specific and detailed as you possibly can with us, and that guides us to the approach that we take when we're designing your system. The other things that we're going to take into consideration, which are really important when designing your system, is everything from the roof faces that are available. Are you going to use battery storage as part of your solution, or are we looking for solar only? Include everything in your brief to us, from roof faces that are available, Potentially, if you have a roof face that you actually don't want to use, and if you want to prioritize battery storage as part of your total solar system, from there, we'll be able to do the heavy lifting for you. Let's work out what solar design is going to meet those needs. The more energy you use, the bigger solar system you might need, but it's not just about size. It's a lot about matching your solar power to when and how you use electricity. For example, if you're a really big morning consumer of energy, we will really be hoping that you've got a great eastern face to use. Eastern roof faces generate really, really strong in the morning and are able to offset most of the time all of your morning energy usage. You might be like the rest of Australia and have a really high afternoon usage. Most people come home and will put the aircon on until the sun goes down. In that case, we'll really wanna utilize your western roof. And of course, northern roofs are fantastic for all day generation as well. At Penrith Solar, if you have a great east and a west roof available, I've personally got a strategy that's worked for thousands of clients up until today. It has never let me down. And what I call this strategy is the two thirds rule. I quite simply put as a rule of thumb, one third of the panels allocated on the eastern face and two thirds of your total panel on your western face. This ensures that your home generates really strong all day, but gives a particular focus on those afternoon loads like aircon, maybe your pool runs from 11 o'clock till four o'clock in the afternoon, and it's going to give you fantastic generation all day. But there's one other thing that my two thirds rule does, is if you have battery storage, it will actually keep your battery charged for the longest period of time before the sun goes down. 
This means that you'll have the most energy available in your battery for nighttime. You see, if you put all your panels on the east, we set batteries up for what we call maximum self-consumption, which means they don't just discharge during nighttime, they actually discharge when you need the energy. So if you only had the eastern roof available, your batteries will probably start discharging from about three o'clock in the afternoon. When you have the two thirds rule and your west face is quite strong, your batteries generally won't start discharging right up until the sun goes down. That's how you set your home up for the best possible outcome. Now that we are armed with all the information we need, there's another thing that you should know which we take into consideration when we're designing solar systems. And it's a term called peak sun hours. There's a really, really simple equation as to what peak sun hours actually do. Peak sun hours is a measurement given to us by the bomb of how much peak sunlight will be on any location for the period of 24 hours. Now in Sydney, we have 3.9 peak sun hours on average through the year. When we do our solar returns, we do use the figure of 3.9. If you moved to Queensland, you would have more peak sun hours. And if you moved to Melbourne, not only would you have a ton of rain, but you would actually have less peak sun hours than what we do in Sydney. Peak sun hours come into the equation because we simply take the system size in kilowatts and we times it by peak sun hours, which will give us the result of how many kilowatt hours we're going to produce in a 24 hour period. So let's use 10 kilowatts as an example. If you have a 10 kilowatt system in Sydney, we times that by 3.9, which would mean on average all year round, you'll generate 39 kilowatt hours, which is energy available for you to use in your home. In summer, we'd expect that number to be up around somewhere north of 50 kilowatt hours. And in winter, we would expect it to be far less as well, somewhere around 20 to 30 kilowatt hours. But that's how the calculation's actually done on what size system will give you what results over a 24 hour period. Now, it's up to you to use battery storage and really identify when you're going to use energy and how you can shape that 39 kilowatt hours to work best for you. A good solar installer can help you find the perfect fit for your home and make sure you're saving money and energy straight away. Now remember, even if you think you don't have the best roof face or roof pitch available, watch some of my other videos where I show you how a south roof can work for almost anyone. Remember, solar is not just about panels on your roof. It's about making smart choices around your energy usage and maximizing your self-consumption as much as you possibly can. I'm Jake from the Penrith Solar Center. We'll see you on the next one.